Ubisoft secretly nerfed some abilities in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, although there's more going on than you might think. And the bar doors tactic is of course removed, but we already got a new trick. So let's go over the secret changes in this video. If you like that, then a like would of course really help me out. And let's go. I am of course doing a weekly Helix credit pack giveaway for 2300 credits. And you can enter via the link in the pinned comment. And these giveaways are only for subscribers of the channel. I'll reach out to the random winner via the email. After installing the latest update, we already noticed some secret changes that Ubisoft did not tell us about in the patch notes. For example, a small one in the codex, you will now find tutorials for the river raids, going over all the basics for the different systems. There's also a new people page for Ragnar Lothbrok, telling you kinda his background, Really awesome, but this page will only appear after killing all the Drang gear and doing that quest that I should go to his pit to get the dagger. So yeah, if you haven't done that yet, the page will not be there and you will also see a new page about a settlement extension, which is all about the post-launch buildings we will get, like recently the Yams Viking Hall of course and Vaughn's building. It's also noted that buildings in this new area, so over the bridge, will not count towards your settlement level. So pretty interesting stuff, but we also got Kevin who reached out with even more secret changes in the comments under a recent video, talking about a Raven distraction nerf and a nerf for like the rocks which you can drop on the enemies. We did some more digging though, and well, there seems to be more going on than meets the eye at first. First. So first these rocks, they are of course perfectly positioned, enemies think it's smart to stand under them so they can drop them to instantly kill these enemies. And a great example of this is in Tona's camp in Leicestershire where you can kill two enemies with one arrow thanks to this tactic. And this by the way way before the update, like early game footage. But if you go there now, so with a higher level character and after the recent update, then the enemies actually survive the rocks with just a small percentage of their health. And this by the way also the case when you drop these rocks in other locations. So did Ubisoft nerf it? Well, actually, no. In a previous video, we discussed the assassination issue that is in the game right now, where even with the guaranteed assassination setting in the gameplay tab, you still have to do that quick time event to take the enemies out in one hit. And also enemies that would normally die from one assassination will now require you to do the advanced assassination skill. And this seemed to be linked to picking up the shoulder bash ability in the second River Raid map as Amber Gaming found out on her channel. But now it seems to have impacted way more than we first thought because yes, if I go to Tona's camp before getting the shoulder bash ability on an older save but still with the latest updates, I do kill all the enemies here by dropping the boulders on their heads. So for some reason, this shoulder bash glitch makes it so that multiple things that were first an insta-kill are not working properly anymore. It's giving the enemies kind of a second chance or something. But it gets even crazier though, because of this issue, the Raven's Distraction is now also not working properly. With the rank 2 of this ability, you should be able to instantly stun an enemy, as you see here in footage from even before the launch. But if you now do this ability, after getting the shoulder bash you will see that the stun bar always has a little bit left over so you have to like shoot the enemy an extra bit to get the stun effect to trigger and they can do the bow stun finisher. And yes how we know that this also linked to the shoulder bash and the river raids is because again if you go back to an older save before getting that ability the raven's distraction works as intended. If you found more things that are suddenly not an insta kill or an insta stun anymore while they were before the update totally let me know via the input at draptor.com email address or you can of course also leave a comment under this video there are still some legit nerfs though that i don't think ubisoft will fix like these are not connected to the shoulder bash bug one thing i always did with the focus of the nornir ability and you likely know this if you watch the channel for a while is use it to get arrows back thanks to the arrow reinforcement skill. Like it's already nice that shooting with this ability does not cost any arrows, so you can also activate it when your quiver is empty, and this by the way is still the case after the update. But what I then also did was pick up the arrows that were generated thanks to this ability, and this was especially nice against animals that can absorb a lot of hits. So then you kill them, loot the corpse and got new arrows while it did not cost you anything. And yes, Ubisoft now completely removed this tactic so you cannot pick up the arrows that you generate with the focus of the Nornir. 
And sure, you can still use the ability to take out archers, which then have a higher chance to drop new arrows, thanks to the arrow looter skill. But regular enemies and animals will not give you arrows back if you kill them with the focus of the Nornir. So that sucks, especially when you're like hunting for that camp in your settlement. Because you will run out of arrows with no way to get them back more quickly. Another ranged ability that was nerfed is Mark of Death. Don't worry, the damage is still great, but it's now more a risk reward thing. So before the update, you could activate it, line up your shots, but if you got hit, you would not lose the adrenaline bar that it will cost you to use the ability. So you can just try again. But now after the update, the moment you activate the ability, you already consume the adrenaline bar. So if then an enemy hits you and cancels the ability, you'll have wasted adrenaline for nothing. So a pretty interesting change. It's not really annoying. It makes it, like I said, more a risk reward ability. Still a great ability, of course, to use overall. And a returning secret change that always happens is for the bar doors. Because Ubisoft always wants to make sure that our tactics to open these pretty annoying doors at this point don't work anymore. And well, they now removed the tactic that was linked to the incendiary powder trap rank 2. Shoot it once and then again on the same spot to trigger the other trap will cause the explosion and then bam, you can walk in. But yeah, this doesn't work anymore after the latest update. We already got a new tactic though. It's really a race with Ubisoft, but I totally think that at one point, nothing will work anymore. So this new tactic is thanks to Keith on Instagram. He shared a video with me. And you can, by the way, find my Instagram in the video description. We post a ton of fun content there and you can also like DM me there if you want. So this tactic requires three adrenaline bars and still the incendiary powder trap. And using a predator bow is, by the way, smart here too. So first you want to use Odin Sight to scan the door and kind of see where the red outline of the lock is. Now stick one incendiary powder trap just above the shape and the other one beneath it. And then the third one, the final one, in between those two and then the explosion will trigger and bam you can open the door so yes at this point i think it will be faster to just complete the puzzle ubisoft u1 of course if you got secret changes or other things again input at drap.com or the comments of this video subscribe for way more valhalla content if you haven't already a like on the video would really help me out more secret changes and by the way my review of season one is coming up very soon you can already watch a previous video on the treasure hordes and the secret naval items linked to it so you can watch it by clicking on the screen or i will link to it at the end of our photo mode showcase which we of course do at the end of every valhalla video you can share your shots via the valhalla raptor hashtag on twitter or via my dedicated discord channel which you can enter via the link in the pinned comments and of course accept the rules and then you are able to post Okay, Joyce, your turn. You, of course, selected three shots from the community, so I'm curious which one did you select this time? What's up, everyone? First up is Sohair19, who took matters into its own hands, and after <laughs> the fight with one of the daughters of Lyrian, Aver carried her on its back away from the battlefield. I didn't know you could carry the body. Mm -hmm. Did yeah. you? Yeah. No, no, no. I, I'm like, I thought they would like disappear or something, but on the other hand, it makes sense that they are like lying there. I just never really like paid attention to it. Next up is Chris over on Twitter, who's prepping up an intense battle with Eivor, piercing the enemy with its own spear. What I love about this shot is not only the close-up with Eivor's facial expression, but also the poison effect that activates or is already hanging around the soldier. Really cool. And finally, we've got Poppy over on Discord, where Steinbjorn is ready for a bear hug, it seems, with Eivor throwing Excalibur in the air. They both have different opinions about this fight, it seems. Steinbjorn is jumping right in. Happy that finally someone goes to look him up because he's like chilling there, waiting for a true contender. <laughs> and finally, Eivor is there. Really, really cool shots. Thanks everyone for sharing and of course sending your shots. And then maybe you are in the next video. Subscribe for way more Valhalla content. And don't check out our previous video, which you can watch by clicking on the screen. For now, we will speak to you next time and goodbye. Goodbye.